Yay, we have lettuce. We have two rows of carrots. We have random herbs that came back from last year. And some teeny tiny little sprouting onions, if you can see those little sprouts. They're so cute. And then today we planted parsley and some basil. And this is a jalapeno plant that has yet to do much, but we're, we're hopeful. Okay, so I finally figured out a time to plant everything. We started all of these from teeny little seeds, and I found those biodegradable pots that you can just plant right into the ground and they completely disintegrate. So it's been very helpful in getting seeds off and running. Now in Colorado, we have a very short growing season, so I had to start the season very late. I mean, it's today's what? It's the weekend of the 20th of June, and normally we do like this a month ago. So I'm just now planting. Part of it was has been because of weather, part of it has been kind of because of time. So um, like I'm so excited to get our garden up and ready. And I just wanted to like tell you that seeds tend to be kind of scary for people, but we started them in these little pots and I'll show you. These are the pots that we started our seeds in. They're doing great. We started them inside and Hello. like we have some cilantro. Say hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> and we have some tomatoes that I have cages waiting for. These are tomatoes too, but they don't seem to be doing as well. I'm not sure why, if it's just the seed type. But a lot of these seeds, honestly, I got at Walmart for like a buck. I think it was like $1.34 a pack. So it doesn't have to be expensive to garden. And we're learning as we go, just like you can too. Meanwhile, I'm trying to film a video and my family is doing this. You have to get them toughened up to the idea of being outside. So that means getting them outside for little periods throughout the day. So I, I actually realized I toughened them up on accident. I didn't, there were a few times I deliberately brought them outside, got them in the direct sunlight, got them in the blowing wind, and then I'd bring them in at night and that seemed to work fine. I only did that like twice. What actually ended up working was putting them next to an open window in direct sunlight and I think that did the trick because this jalapeno plant we have in the ground right now was completely toughened up um, and it hasn't died and we've gotten some pretty crazy rain since I put it in the ground. So I think that's the trick. Um, worth a shot, right? I'm about to actually put the tomato plants in the ground with the tomato cages and like, like I said, I'm learning as I go. So if you see me like maybe not space them out the right way, we'll, we'll figure it out for next time. But. We're going to put some tomatoes in the ground now. Work. Maybe I should should I in the cage first? Can you help? <laughs> They're too close together, aren't they? Put it in, man. Are you excited to eat all these yummy things? Yeah. Me too. We should make a salad with all that lettuce. I am so excited to try it. We've never done lettuce before. Scoop, scoop. We've never done lettuce before because I was always scared that it was like 
too fragile or I don't know bunnies would eat it but honestly I got this little tiny little gate at Home Depot to just cover the area and it's done its work so it's just awesome so fun to grow things from a seed and watch it turn into food and it's such a great lesson to share with our kids and our family okay so we did all that work we were outside all afternoon I'm exhausted <laughs> But our garden is planted and I'm really excited to be able to share the progress with you guys. Follow me on Instagram, uh, Lauren Learns. And yeah, hope you have an awesome week. See you next time. Go get messy, have fun, and, and learn. Da, 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 da.